together with Jiminy and Ray. So here's Hibiki's like big move. And he's like, this power! It's Jiminy and Ray in Advent. And then um He's like, Advent, I'm done hesitating. You stole my father and sister and Suzune, and you're clearly my enemy. And so here's uh, Suzune's big move, because it definitely ain't Hibiki's. Uh, Suzune gets like the worst cut in of all time though. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. At the vento! Stomp him on his fucking head. It's such a good move. <laughs> I forgot that he just grabs him by the leg and slams him down. Like fucking Hulk. <laughs> Yep, just end with their tits in the middle of the screen, don't worry about it. But the Overizer arc! Turns out, actually, his halo is a sword. Yeah, truly what she needed. More cleavage, and just right in the middle of the screen. Ibiki scrolls up. She scrolls down. And then Evan's like, Bwah! And he blows up. He's fucking dead. He died. We got him. One shot. And Asakim is like, not yet. And, obviously, because we know that he's fucking immortal. But then, what the? And then Advent just says, um, Hey Ricky, you think you're the only one with that power? And he says um, that he can't use it unlimitedly under these circumstances. Um, but instead, it's like, whoa, this dude's not gonna die. And he's like, anyway, he's gonna awaken us from our somber through other means. So he summons a bunch of nerds to fight us. And it's like, dude, we just fucking murdered the shit out of that dude. And there's blue, and it's like, dang it, blue, we gotta fight you. And he's like, yeah, punish that blue. And they're like, yep, and there's white, which is Maki, obviously. And then uh, Hibiki tells Suzune that Maki's their enemy, and Askim uh, just says, Advent, you still determined to underestimate Zet Blue? And Advent says that he just always acts in the best interests of Zet Blue and of the world, and he tells us to meet his expectations. And then Ryoma is like, I'm getting real tired of this bullshit, dude. And he says uh, that he'll be happy to reveal who he really is and what he really wants, if we can make him. And then it's like, dang it, Advent, we're going to beat the shit out of you. And so, uh, that was turn one. <laughs> uh, you will also notice the, the thing with Suzune, uh, she now has her glasses. Uh, yeah, like uh, Bela says, uh, like, Suzune's revealing outfit, it turns out that was the other personality's input, and the glasses is regular Suzune's input. So she gets her glasses now and is more powerful than ever before or whatever, but I think she mostly just gets SP regen now. And I forgot to mention when Gumba still got his upgrade, because it doesn't matter, but it has small energy regen now. Thanks, Mel. Yeah, you missed out on all the unicorn bullshit. All it was is just uh, Noriko murders every enemy and Umbriel, and then Hibiki's like, I'm gonna save you from the colony laser! Because Suzune's not dead. Fuck you. I need you both alive. And then that was good enough for Dark Suzune to go. Nice work, dude. Someone finally accepts that I exist.
And I skip just went, aha, it's really shit. Actually, you're duck Todd. Excuse your birthday, nice work, dude. Hope you get lots of good prizes. Oh yeah, and AG, the you missed uh, AG hanging out with Trya. That's where he's been. He's been hanging out with Trya doing whatever she's been up to finding um, Carlos Senior. And Gwen is the one who helped find him. She didn't. He, Gwen didn't tell her that he was the King of Chrono, just where he was. And Gwen's like, "Yep, I've been working against the Gaia Empire, despite all the cutscenes showing me doing the opposite of that." Uh, next day, yeah. Next stage is when we'll find out Esther's thing. But Esther will return. Don't you worry about that. I don't really want to like blow white up. No, I don't want to blow blue up. It's blue. It's blue. Okay, good. Yeah, and the end, Elgin Roddick just going, Yo, Chrono exists everywhere and they're fucking horseshit. And of course, Haman got a fucking million PP. Here's Asakim, he's Asakim. You yeah, know, he's Asakim. 130 will. Automatically casts strike. No, he doesn't automatically cast strike. Does he automatically cast focus? Yeah, he automatically casts focus every turn. Discalibur. And then here's Asakim. Shuroga. The time has come for our black wings to transcend causality itself. And now, clad in the flames of hell, we shall cut through our frozen fate and heaven's prison. Yes, dude. Yes, dude. He's been, he's been doing a lot of poems while he's been busy. Oh, even King's Hall. No, he still can't do no moves. He still sucks shit. <laughs> in America, he's 94. He's, you know, kill like 95% of enemies that have spawned. Just the usual Noriko stuff. <laughs> this is the first turn, so all these people still have accelerate and shit. <laughs> you fucking done anything. <laughs> And then we'll do the Jupiter Smash. How you do that? You just uh, kill all the enemies. It's really easy. You just kill all the enemies with it. You just use her attacks upon bad man. For the Thunder King planet. Because of the maneuver. I don't know what you need to know about it.
still flying away. I mean, it is a gas giant. And then the Sphere Rexes will have shit versus Advent, as does Asuka, but... Only Amuro, Setsuna and Benaji. the other idiot. Uh, Noriko, uh, like... Like it, like random cats said, it's new game plus a lot, but you can do this on your first game. Well, I did it on the first game plus. Uh, like this stage is the one that you can like this. This stage is the first one where you can one turn it completely with Noriko, because you do every enemy and then blow up Suzune by yourself. Um, it's like before stage, uh, before she gets her upgrade, um, she's just perfectly set up for like almost everything. She just needs to get that first kill. And then she's good, um, but once she gets um, Kazumi back and they get the hey make any attack post movement naturally, then um, she doesn't need anybody's help because she can just run at them and then do her all attack and just go forever. But you, um, you can do it with Camille, you can do it with anyone in the turn A. Yeah, you can do it with the Zayda, you can do it with the turn A. Um, you, you can do it with the Suzabi. Um, trying to think if there's anybody else who's got really good cheap all attacks, but like you can do it with basically anybody. It's just that Noriko is the easiest one to do it with out of the box, just because she's huge and once you ace her, she has the miracle, which is free one million bops. Yeah, like you just need someone to refill her. But everybody would need that. Everybody needs uh, the refill. Uh, she came like stage 30 something in the first game. Like 33, I think, something like that. And in this, you get a like stage 16, and it's just like an hour. You, you did it. You won the video game already. Sudden impact. And then they give her the bullshit upgrade, which gives her every spell that she is, like. She gets every spell that she didn't have, basically. I have not played the Alpha series with New Game Plus. As expected of Begal. Yeah, like Super Robot Wars at its best is like use whatever you want to have a good time. With the with the optional added puzzles of SR points and in J puzzle the robot, which is really good. Yeah, like basically, like the OG games, um, are like the more mechanically okay. These ones can be a bit tricky because the idea there is that. They're all your favourites! Instead of, oh, you might only like Amuro, or you might only like Guy, or you might only like fucking Far, or whatever. Um, 
いはとうに振り切っている Yeah, the Puzzle Rower stuff in J is really good. Like, the early ones are like, hey, learn how actually really effective terrains and shit is. Setsunasa. And then the later ones are, here's how you know a very specific chain of spells to completely wipe out every enemy on the map with three dudes. And it's nuts the shit you can do. And Alpha 2, I'll play as Kasura. I'll play as Kasura in all of the Alpha ones when I do them because that's. The only thing that uh, uh, Night and Guard's done. Um, unless the. Uh, we wait for the translation to be done, and then once the translation is done, I'll be able to pick anybody. Yeah, late game puzzle robo is a hard there, There's one where. Like, the last three are all. Like, yo, morale is really fucking important. And like you have Dan Cougar and um, Zero Rima, and you have to manage their morale, just cast all the fucking spells on them, and it's good. Like, the last one I think it is where it's like you've got to take out every dude, and it ends up just being Zero Rima goes into the middle of the map and does his map attack three times. I'm not gonna crash a plane into you, Maki, no matter how much you want me to. The, yeah, the big Zero Rhyme map attack one, and there's one where it's like, okay, you've got to do loads of shit with Dan Cougar, and you have to use. Um, you have to use its heal, but also get its morale up to like 140 so you can do its big move on the Radan bug or whatever. It's some good shit, it's some good shit. Puzzle Robo is good as hell. Oh yeah, real fucking mature, I mean. Who the fuck do you think you are? Taking out from this far away. Asshole. That's a good alpha too. No idea. No. <laughs> Are we saying that Advent's not her type? Yeah, like like the early ones are like um cool, neat puzzles. And then later on, it's like, can you figure out? That, like, like they're calling it puzzles with multiple solutions. Then the last ones are things where it's like, okay, there are 17 steps you need to do, and you need to get them perfectly right in the right order, or you're fucked. So here, um, a part is like, well, this dude, he's taking no damage. He's like the goddamn Black Anger always. And Advan just says, ah, yes, very observant. And uh, that's all the more why he wants our cooperation. And then Blamo, what? Nani? And then. This dude is like, yep, yeah, classic shithead, always hooking his friggin' head off. So yeah, no. He's here for the shithead, he's here for the shit dude. He's like, get like, get like me on, Sam. How you doing, imitation boy? He's back, baby. Uh, but he's here, and he's here, he's like, yep, yeah, uh, your machine managed to surpass what my Jaminia did, but he's still gonna give us a uh, piece of his mind. But right now, taking down Advent is the priority. And uh, Gadlight uh, is neither a member of Geminis or Sidril anymore. And he talks about, he's like, alright lady, you calm down. He's like, yep, yeah, Sidril, let's go. Gotta take down Advent first. He's like, ah, oh, Gadlight, me on Sam. You don't even have a sphere, what do you expect? Uh, yeah, so Advent mocks Gadlight's determination to go on fighting despite he lost his mech, his sphere, and his beloved woman. And then uh, Gadlight's like, Sorry, Analotta, but I've got new women in my life. That's why I'm still fighting. And then Gadlight. And then Gadlight tells Ibiki that he's not good. He uh, neither intends to offer his help nor request it from him. And then Everence like, Sitsuko, Rand, Crow, Hibiki, Astralis, Aluna, Shiku, Barbiel, and Asakim and Gadlight. 
such a shame that none of you seem to understand that he then does the equivalent of you're not like I'm not trapped in here with you you're trapped in here with me but it's kind of like he's back baby Calvi round count I'm sorry we're going to do the classic you're entitled to your opinion, even if it's wrong, but Calvina is way better than Toya in every way. Because Toya, like you say, Calvina spends the first half of the game just being angry at everything. Toya doesn't have a character at all for the first half of the game. So, you know. I'd take one dimensional over non dimensional. And then here's Amaro, mankind headed towards its future. And will overcome whoever tries to prevent that. Yeah, <laughs> chief. Nobody dies because um, we're good guys, and good guys are going to kill people. So anybody that we've ever fought that looks like they've died probably hasn't. That's pretty much the rule. And then this dude. And a lot of Geminis, all the old lives of the Gemini planet, and our newly born ones. I swear to you all that I carry on your regrets and your hopes into the future. I'm Gadlite Mion Sam, the Gemini warrior. Setsuko's two particular friends died, but then she got some new copies of them from another dimension, which isn't quite the same. It's not quite as good. Um, but this dipshit has shit to say. You screw tell, tell me what his fucking personality is then. Tell me what his personality is that Calvina's is like less dimensional. And here's uh, Banaji. Unicorn, your role as the key to the last box has ended today. But our struggles together aren't finished yet. Here we go. We'll defeat those who seek to uproot our possibilities. And then we'll return to Audrey. No, you want to die without regrets. That's the complete opposite of what everybody has ever said ever in their entire life. You never want to take regrets with you to death. Yeah, he does that, but that's like Calvina's has an arc as well. And it, like, it actually takes the same amount of time as his. And Calvina's is like more interesting to most people, like, you're actually, like, the second person I've ever seen go, yeah, I prefer Toya to Calvina. I want this dude to fight the guy. Because Toya is just like straight up a robot literally falls out of the sky on him. <laughs> but um, yeah, here's uh, here I am back in the seat. And then that new suit and the glasses looks very good on you. Thanks, Ricky. And I see you've gotten somewhat used to that smile. It's only somewhat. But regardless, I know, now we're back together, we can draw upon the full power of the Geminian Ray. And it's with that that we'll fight the battles ahead. I'm 
Like you said, uh, Kavina literally spent the first half of the game just being angry at everything, but Toyozak is 20 stage tops. 20 stages is half the game of <laughs> Jay. It's like 48 or something stages. Like their arcs actually take like the same amount of time. It's just that one of them isn't, you know, Mr. Generic Robot protagonist. Like, Toya is every super robot dude of all time. Is it like that's the that's the main reason for why people consider Calvina to be more interesting and cooler than Toya. But I mean you're free to prefer Toya to Calvina. I'm just letting you know that your hyperbole like didn't help. Who blew up the lady? And then um, she's like, and then um, Maki says uh, that so long as uh, Hibiki is Advent's enemy, that um, he'll be hers too. Then she leaves, and it's like, dang it. It's like, it's okay, Susan A. It's, I'm fine. And he's like, dang it, Maki, I'm going to put a stop to you. And then Gadalite's like, well, Hibiki, seems you've put your uh, old squeeze behind you. He's like, what? And he's like, hey, when we did that sphere stealing thing you did, we had a little momentary mind meld, and... I saw where your despair springs from. And he's like, you think I want to hear that from you, dude? And he's like, oh, I guess you're not 100% over it just yet. And then internally he's like, this kid, that could be good or bad. And then there's his big move. We're not going to do his big move. And then here's uh, versus Advent. Advent! Hibiki, indeed, you are magnificent. Finding a human like you has been one of the greatest joys in my life. <laughs> Piss off, I'm not your property. You tried to kill Miss Susan, so I won't hesitate to take you down like any other enemy. Yeah, you shoot him in the crotch, and that's how you avoid the cockpit, because there's only like one robot in the game. It has the cockpit in the groin. And Shah's in that one right now, so he's fine. And even if you die in that, it just regenerates you in Nano Machine, so it's fine. What's <laughs> Yeah, like Ibuki is sort of in the crotch of Die Guard, like she's in that sort of direction, but she's not like literally hanging out on the groin. Like, Shar is literally sitting in this little green bit, because that's a little plane that flies off. It looks like this. Like that compared to there's a lady in the pelvis. Like he's straight up actually just in the groin. Like he's right there. Hey, plain fucker. Setsuna just says, um, 
Yeah, yeah innovator. The future that Jürgen Schönberg imagined. That's what I meant to be. Then I'll clear the road ahead for all of humanity. It's not where we did. I don't know, I'll get the translation to Alpha 2 when they're done. I can't tell you what the schedule is other than it's next year at the earliest. Well, next year's when she's going to start working on them again. Yeah, of him. You seem to understand perfectly. Okay, now I need Randall to do the talking to them in. Didn't think it didn't like this between us. This battle is different from the previous one. I can see that you are awash with guilt and doubt as you face me. Maybe, but I got something way stronger than that burning within me. Anger over all the crap you've done. If you've got any excuses, then you better tell them quick, or else I'm gonna kick your ass big time. That's fine. Face me with 100% of your strength. So <laughs> Like, as long as the guys say we're avoiding the cockpits on this one, you're good. Like, the first time you ever fight human opponents in every single Super Robot Wars game, they always go, Whoa! Let's try and avoid the cockpits. We don't want to kill anybody. Never mind that, like, Marida's animation straight up just has the lasers go right through the cockpit. And then they blow up into a million pieces or disintegrate into dust. But the dude is always fine. Go! で、フィニッシュだ。お、この傷を治すのもただじゃねえんだぞ。いや、やろう。ドンクッフェロー。アイムセッツコ。アドベン you the thought of fighting me is making you sad, hmm, Setsuko? I rise above that sorrow, along with the fear and hesitation inside my heart. Sorrow has made you strong. Seems Asakim's methods were correct. Then I'll take it upon myself to fulfill his role and bestow even more sorrow upon you. Fucking Anvin, even when he's trash talking, he's enjoying himself. <laughs> He busted out his super form, um, like in Rengoku, like, he went full power and then we got warped to the other planet for a little bit and it sucked. Where's the Croaster? Crow! Crow! Did I just not bring Crow? That'd be weird. Okay, no, yeah, he's behind Armour Road. I was like, I'm pretty sure I brought that dude. Pretty sure I brought that dude, but he's in the back there, that's fine. Dun -dun -dun. And then, now this outcome is truly regrettable, Asakim. You fall in the same category as my targets. That said, I also find your existence to be intolerable even beyond that fact. Very well, live your life as you see fit. Live. That word is no substance to me. Alright, Asakim, fucking calm down, dude. And then, Gadlight. Gadlight. Crow. 
And that's it. That's it. That's all the people need to talk to this shithead. There's no CS go in this world. It's all Titanfall. Titanfall forever. All about being a robot pilot. Burning PT number one. Goes against. No, no, impossible. They live in a utopian society where all skins and downloadable content is free. Then we blow up Blue and he sucks. Yeah, he's just like, oh, well, not yet. It's like, dang it, Blue, come on. You, don't you realize that Aaron's a bad dude? Actually, my boss is a good boy, and you're the bad dude. What the? That's right, I'll be back. Blue. It's fine, whatever. Advent's warped that dude's heart. Don't worry about it. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, it's Kiriko's armor magnum. He killed the anti-spiral from Garon Lagan with that. He's killed gods with that thing. Nah, Sensuko's never moped. Like, e like even to the point of ridiculous, that said like Sensuko doesn't mope. Like, when she was literally fucking blind, she was like, No, I'm fine, I'm gonna get in the robot, don't worry everybody, I'm good. Why is he mounted on the mech? What do you mean? He can't, like, it's a handgun! Like, moping to me implies, like, inaction. Not in Poland, no, because she's always doing shit. She's always doing shit. She's powerful. Make a tiny animal in it? No. There's no point customizing his robot because it's always going to get blown up. Like Setsuko mostly just goes, that's so sad. And that's it. It's just like, that's so sad. And then she gets more powerful than ever before. Let's go there. You know what? Let's heal round off of that 359 damage. Because why not, right? Where's a good boy? 
forget about what he's done here. Need to be range two. Alright, we'll have to set that up later. He pops out shooting with the arm oh, magnum like because it's cold. Not sure what more reason you need. Uh, uh, hopefully to keep you doing tomorrow. We'll have to wait and see. G dimension. Shoot. G dimension. Shoot. <laughs> I've got this one, since ago. Fucking blammo. Don't be overcome by melancholy. See, and then Setsuko's sleeves fit again. It's fucked up. Can't take this one down like that. Oh yeah, sure, dude. Keep attacking the lady. Why not? Nah, I need to get light. Okay, fight the man. And gather like, uh, Advent, I'm here to pay you back in spades. You're making a mistake venting your rage on me. What, you're trying to talk me down now? Fine, gather like, that's what it takes to satisfy you. I'll withstand the weight of your emotions. That is my mission as well. You we ain't gonna be acting so smug for long, freak. Get ready. Why is that gun over your face while I'm in there? They put faces on planes. Why would they not put a face on a gun? Well, I can't say I'm happy with how this turned out. And yet I can see you expecting this outcome from the moment we were working together on the green earth. That transparent, huh? Your strong spirit, mate, sustains your intuition. I dare say things were set to end like this from the very start. Say it like it is. You were the one who decided that in the first place, weren't you? Indeed, you're a man to be feared. I wonder what, uh, I wonder, what are the limits to your strength? Let's find out. So just because they're gonna... Well, I mean, it's called the Nautilus Carver, and the Nautilus is that... is a shellfishy mollusk thing. So it's the little face popping out of its shell, and then it vomits lasers at you, so... Like, it's a design decision to the aesthetic of it, is the reason. But, you know, like... Here's through, Librasta.
志半ばで倒れるわけには君にスフィアを使う仕方とか。シェアバウスフィーズ again。Is that everybody who's for that dude now? And s e t s go, Hibiki, Asakim, Gadlai, Crow. Yeah, it's fucking everybody then. Alright, dude. You're fucking dead as shit. Dynamite explosion. You parts DMJ DMJ that shot on that guy. Eat a cake. That shot on that guy. Eat another cake. That shot on that guy. That's it. Maximum shot on that guy. Explosion once again. What about f o r the fella though? Yeah! Okay, so that's 50 50. This is f o r m u l a play mode. Even though e r i c well, we're hazing him. C2 saying he's got a real small dick. C2, C2's hazing is either saying you've got a small dick or telling you about her favorite pizza flavors, and it's all of them, so she goes in alphabetical order. Trying to send this dude to Valhalla. She talks about both the nutritional and aesthetic merits of pineapple on pizza. And Advent is just like, I got shit to do, lady. Boing. So we blow him up because he sucks. Got our soul armor, nice work, three levels. And then here, because Advent is like a fucking level 6 cleric or whatever, he says here that、uh, he can't use resurrection twice in a row. <laughs> 